All right, welcome to Coffee with Marcus, this episode 125. And today I'll show you how exactly I'm planning to trade my $500,000 account. We'll also talk about portfolio margin and I'll give you an update on my other goals as well. Anyhow, does that sound good? <laughs> okay, perfect. Then let's get started. This show is about real money and real trades. I'll show you the trading strategies that I personally trade, the tools that I use to trade my own accounts, and we will talk about the right mindset of a trader. Now, talking about mindset, I'm going to show you how to create SRC profits. And SRC stands for systematic, repeatable, and consistent, because that is the key to long-term success in the market. So if you are sick of all the hype and empty promises, and you want to learn trading strategies that actually work, then Click on like right now and let's get started. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome to this show, Coffee with Marcus. It is a crazy day today, but hey, <laughs> let's focus on the positive thing. Now, in the previous episode, I shared my goals for this year. And uh, I actually showed you this document where I broke down all of my goals. And uh, there are actually 15 goals on this list. And uh, as promised, I'll show you exactly how I am planning to achieve them. And uh, if you want, we will also track the progress together. So for today, the main focus will be on my plan to trade my $500,000 account and to make $15,000 per month for living expenses. Now, like every goal, there are certain steps that I need to take to make this goal a reality. So. Um, Let's actually move down here. These are all of the goals. I'll show you later how you can get a copy of this document if you want to, up to you. Um, but here you see this is where I break it down. So the goal number one uh, that I have on this list here, and again, there are no particular order. I just had to number them somehow. And it is trading for income, make $15,000 per month for living expenses. And uh, I, I believe that this will cover my living expenses. One of the upcoming shows, I'll show you exactly what my living expenses are. I thought it would be good to keep track of it. I'm not doing it right now. I know, bad habit, right? Anyhow, so I already opened an account. Uh, let me just do this here. I already did that. Let me see. Boom, here we go on uh, January 4th. 2021. So two days ago, I already opened the account with Tastyworks. It's a margin account. If you're interested in learning more about Tastyworks, there's a link in the description below. So the next step then is to fund the trading account with $250,000. And since I opened a margin account, this means that it'll give me $500,000 in buying power. And uh, I did that today. So it usually takes a day or two uh, for, for the funds to hit the account. So we'll see, it, it should be available tomorrow, uh, but definitely today is Wednesday. So next week we'll definitely have this available. So this here is done and we did this today on uh, January 6th. Today is January 6th as we're doing it. Okay, there we go. Now, the next step here is to document my trading plan and I thought, you know what, instead of just me doing it for myself, why don't we do this together? And uh, this is the goal of this show here so that I show you my exact plan to trade this $500,000 account. By the way, you can use the exact same plan here to trade a smaller account. So if you have, for example, a $20,000 account, $30,000 account, $50,000 account, you can do the same. Oh, and also I have something special for you. When you stay until the end of the show, and uh, I will show you how to get a copy of my trading plan as well as this goals document. Again, if you're interested and if you want to have this. Okay, good. But let's get started and let's talk about my trading plan for this $500,000 account. Again, the, the goal here is to make $15,000 per month, right? And if you're breaking it down, and we take the $15,000 per month and divide it by 30 days, it means that I need to find a way to make $500 per day, right? So uh, let me just make this here, format it in a nice way, because again, I wanna give you this document. Now, something very important that I wanted to mention here, because I think that you need to know of what's happening. 
So um, when you have an account that is larger than $150,000, you can take advantage of something that is called portfolio margin. So let's talk about this here for a moment. So portfolio margin is available for accounts that are above $150,000. And uh, again, I wired uh, today $250,000 into the account, so I'm definitely above the $150,000. And this means that you are getting six to one leverage. Now, you know that usually, uh, so let's say normal margin, is when you have a $250,000 account, you're getting $500,000 in buying power. Now with portfolio margin, portfolio margin, and again, this is available and you have to request it. You're not automatically getting it, but you can request, can request it when you have more than $150,000 in cash in the account. And this means that you're getting six to one leverage. So the $250,000 are actually turning into 1.5 million in buying power. Now, important thing, I am not, I am not planning to use $150,000 in buying power. I am planning to use $500,000 in buying power. And in a moment, you'll see why that is. I'll explain this in detail. Is this making sense thus far? So if you never heard about portfolio margin, it's because it's for the rich, right? So if you have a smaller account, uh, you cannot get this portfolio margin, but when you have a larger account, again, $150,000 and above, and uh, this is when you're getting a six to one leverage, which is pretty good. Anyhow, leverage is a double-edged sword. It works for you as well as against you. So you need to know what you're doing here. And uh, I'll show you what I'm planning to do. So let's talk about the strategies that I'm planning to use in order to trade this account. And I'm turning this in black. There we go. So first of all, yes, I will use the wheel strategy because the wheel strategy, as you know, is a strategy for income. Now, if you're new to this channel and you don't know much about this strategy yet, um, do me a favor. There's a, a playlist, a link in the description to a playlist that explains this strategy in more detail. Now, Again, I will have probably around $1.5 million in buying power, but I'm not planning to use this. So for the wheel strategy, I will allocate $500,000 in buying power because again, this is a strategy that you use trade for income. There we go. By the way, I did a video on this on trading for growth versus trading for income. And here again, my goal is to make $15,000 per month in income. So therefore, of course, I am using an income strategy. So uh, my exact plan here is that I will trade up to five positions in this account. And this means that I'm allocating uh, $100,000 per position in buying power. So per uh, wheel trade that I'm doing here, I'm allocating $100,000. So the goal, the goal is to make $100 uh, premium per day, PPD. And again, if you're new to this and you don't know what this means and you want to learn more about this strategy, there's a, a link in the description to the playlist. And uh, again, this document right now that I'm creating, I'll be happy to share this with you. I'll show you at the end of the video on how exactly you can do this. Okay, so um, we have uh, $100 premium per day per position. Okay, and since I'm having five positions, so this means that my goal is to make $500 per day. Easy enough? So far, so good. Okay, what I will also do is uh, because I'm just loving it. I just love the PowerX strategy. And even though the PowerX strategy is more suitable for growth, right? I will also uh, use some money and allocate it uh, to the PowerX strategy. So usually this is for growth, but here in this particular account, again, 
If you've been following me for a while, you know that I have multiple trading accounts and uh, this is just one of them that I have. I have a total of nine accounts. Uh, this could actually be the 10th account, not quite sure. I have all sorts of size of the accounts and of course I will keep trading the smaller accounts here publicly as well for you so that you know how to trade smaller accounts. But uh, for the Power X strategy, I am planning to allocate $100,000 in buying power. And uh, here, I'll probably go up to up to three positions. This is my plan here. And uh, again, we are risking the usual uh, 2% okay, of the account or of the uh, allocated buying power here. So this is where we are risking $2,000. Our profit target therefore is always twice as much as we are risking. So our profit target is around $4,000. And uh, again, I'm looking here overall at a 50% winning percentage. So this means that half of the trades are losing trades, the other half are winning trades. And uh, so this is where just my expectations that I have here. Uh, the average trade length here is around uh, 15 days. You know this, you probably have been following me. If you're new to this strategy and you would like to learn more about this strategy, uh, I'll also leave a link in the description that you can learn more about this. So let's talk about uh, tools, right? Because uh, this is what we need. Uh, so a good trading strategy always tells you when to enter, when to exit, what to trade. And then of course we need to have the right tools. And as you can imagine, no surprise there, as a tool, I will use the PowerX Optimizer because now the wheel scanner and the wheel calculator is built in here. So therefore, I have everything in one tool. So easy enough, that's what we're going to do. Now, the other thing is, uh, so how exactly I am I going to take profits out of the account? Because again, I'm trading this for income. So what exactly is the plan here? So on the first of each month, and we will do this together, right? I will wire, wire any profits above the $250,000 cash balance into my personal checking account. So I am not planning to grow this account here. And this is the important thing. Right. I mean, we, we talked about in previous videos about the difference between trading for growth and trading for income. This particular account here. And again, this is just one of my accounts. This particular account, I will actually trade for income. So this means that whenever I have more than two hundred fifty thousand dollars in there, I will wire it into my checking account. And again, the goal here is that this should be $15,000. Now you will see as we are going through 2021 that on some uh, months it will be more than $15,000, other months it might be slightly less. But again, the idea here is that overall, over the course of the year, uh, so this is $115,000 per month, uh, and this equates to $180,000 per year, not a big deal. Now. One of the things I want to come back to, so if I'm having $1.5 million in buying power, why am I using only $500,000 in buying power? Well, this basically means that I have a million dollars in buying power left in case a trade is going against me. And uh, you know that this can happen. And I did some videos on this. If you would like to take a look at it, I'll post a link in the description. It is about a TQQQ trade where I'll show you an example of what happens if a trade is going against me. So therefore, um, I want to make sure that uh, here we have uh, we have enough buying power to save the trades if necessary. So again, margin is something great. Leverage is something awesome. And you need to know how to use it responsibly. Because uh, if, you, if you don't do this, then you can get really in trouble. And as you can see, uh, I am only using a third of the buying power that I have because with a third of the buying power, I'm very, 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 very confident that I can achieve my goal of $500 per day. 
So this is the overall plan here. And I know that uh, if you're here live and you have some questions, I'll take a look at this in a moment. First, I want to give you an update on some other goals as well. And if you're watching the recording here, by the way, leave a comment below. I know right now I'm a little bit behind uh, in answering the comments, but I'm reading all of the comments and I'm responding to them. Uh, so I'm a little bit behind because, as you know, I was in Miami for a couple of weeks. And uh, during this time, I spent time with my kids. I was out on the water. So there was not a lot on my computer sitting and answering comments. Anyhow, by the way, if you would like to have this document that shows my trading plan for my $500,000 account and also this one, um, let's see, where I have all my goals in there. Let me quickly ask my team, is the link working yet? Because the team right before I did uh, Jump on Coffee with Marcus was working on the link. And yes, I see it is working. So let me give you the link. Uh, if you want to have this. Uh, so we set up a link, as you can see here, rockwelltrading.com slash my plan. Uh, if you enter an email address, I'll be happy to send you a copy of these two documents. And uh, as you will see over the next uh, few episodes of Coffee with Marcus, we will actually, uh, yeah, just keep working on this document. Now, before I answer your questions, I, I wanted to give you a uh, a quick other update uh, because in other news here, as you can see, there's quite a few goals here. So make $15,000 per month for living expenses. This is what we have been working on today and it is only January 6th. Uh, so I want to buy a $10 million apartment complex uh, later in this quarter, possibly. So February, March, we'll talk about this here in Coffee with Marcus. I'm thinking about buying a resort in Mexico, as you know. Uh, we'll talk about these darn cryptocurrencies because I was wrong. I told you for the longest time, I do not invest in cryptocurrencies and I have not. But as you know, Bitcoin is going crazy. So the question here is, is it too late right now or is it still a good time to invest in cryptocurrencies? And if so, should it be Bitcoin? Should it be another of the cryptocurrencies? Well, let's talk about investing in gold and silver. Um, we will talk about this here in just a moment. But in terms of personal goals, published two more books. As you know, I've been working on the wheel strategy and nothing makes you work harder on your goals than sharing them publicly with others. So uh, to give you an update here, uh, let's just move on. There we go. So I also mapped out the action steps that I need to do in order to get the wheel strategy book done. I already edited chapters one through five. So they're all done. Yesterday, uh, yesterday, I edited chapter six. So uh, just to give you an idea, this is what this uh, this book looks like right now. Let me make this a little bit bigger that it is easier for you to see. Yeah, you don't want to see all the disclaimers. OK, so we have a book, The Wheel Option Strategy. And uh, here is the table of contents. And right now, the chapters that are ready are chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. Chapter four, chapter five, and yesterday I finished chapter six, uh, where we talk about finding the right stocks for the wheel strategy. Uh, step one, no earnings before expiration, right? Uh, we talked about how to find stocks with high implied volatility. So I explained in detail on how to use the barchart.com screener and the trading view screener. Both of them are free screeners that you can use if you want to. And of course, uh, if you already have, uh, the PowerX optimizer, then you have all the screeners that you need. But also how to find stock trend in uptrend or at strong support, right? So I'm explaining static support and resistance and how to check the wheel calculator. So as you can see, the first 92 pages are done or the first 91 pages. So right now, uh, what's left is chapter seven, how exactly to sell puts. Chapter eight, what happens when you get assigned? Chapter nine, uh, how you can then sell calls. And then I have a uh, chapter 10, uh, trading psychologically, uh, psychology and mindset, because I think that this is really important. Anyhow, so going back to the goals, this has been done and uh, I will give you an update on how it goes with editing chapter seven, eight, nine, and 10. I'm planning to do a chapter every other day. So we'll see how this goes. I'll share it with you. And then uh, I'll ask Mark, my head coach, Mark Hodge, to proofread it. After this, I'll ask Nicole to prove it. 
uh, we need to finalize the cover for the book and then we send it to the printer. So easy enough, right? <laughs> okay, uh, let's go back in some other news and then I'll uh, start looking at your questions. So tomorrow I'm traveling to Sacramento to meet with my head coach, Mark Hodge, my CEO, Debbie, and my marketing director, Jared, to work on these goals. So yes, we will talk about the next virtual event for Rockwell Trading. It's coming later this month. Uh, we will talk about PowerX Optimizer 2.0. We'll take a look at the progress here right now. And we will also talk about the trading log. So as you can see, I am making good progress on my goals thus far. Wouldn't you, don't you think so? Uh, let me ask you. As I'm going in these shows here in this uh, Coffee with Marcus Live uh, through these goals and how I'm achieving them, is this helpful at all to you? Because if it is, do me a favor and click on like, uh, because this way I know that you're interested in this and I will keep doing this. Anyhow, how are you doing? How are you doing on your goals? Because one of my goals with this show is to not only give you the very specific strategies that, that millionaires use, uh, to actually increase their wealth, generate income, but also want to inspire you to, to have goals. Yes, I, I have ambitious goals here. And as you can see, I'm taking massive action to make it happen. You, you know what they say? They say work on your goals every day because you're either moving closer to your goals or you're moving away from them. The most important thing is as we start 2021, most important things, have goals, have dreams. Because if you don't have any goals and dreams, you're most probably working on somebody else's goals and dreams. So this is why I also say I'll be happy if you go to rockwelltrading.com, my plan to share this document with you. And this document here will be a document in progress. So I'm pursuing my goals here actively and uh, we will do this together uh, so that I can share with you exactly of what's happening in my life, how I, I am buying, and because here's the deal. Yeah. How do I buy a $10 million apartment complex? I'm not bringing $10 million in cash to the table. I can tell you this, right? Uh, I uh, will be financing it with $7 million and I'll show you exactly how to do this. I will raise money and uh, this will be mainly from my mastermind group if they're interested and uh, if there are still some slots available, I'll be happy to invite you. But uh, first and foremost, uh, this will be an invitation to my mastermind members to invest with me if they want, if you want, if you're part of the mastermind. And then, of course, I'll put a million dollars in of my own money. Anyhow, good. So good to see everybody here again, rockwelltrading.com slash my plan. And uh, let's take a look at, uh, at the questions that you have here because this is why we are doing the show live. And if you're watching the recording, post your questions below in the comments here. Okay, good, good, good. Good to see everybody here. And yes, crazy times today. Today, uh, the results of the Georgia runoff elections are published. But most importantly, the breaking news. Uh, a few minutes ago, I think it was like half an hour ago, maybe 45 minutes ago, shots have been fired at the Capitol and uh, Washington DC is on lockdown. So of course we wanna know, how does this affect the markets? I'm looking at a five minute chart of the Dow Jones right now. And as you can see, it's not really affecting the markets just yet. Uh, so we shall see. The Nasdaq is down today overall. So the Nasdaq is down 1.5%. Uh, so the Nasdaq is uh, being hit hard here, but otherwise it's not affecting the markets just yet. By the way, I'm doing a market recap at uh, five o'clock Eastern time every day here on this channel. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel because this way you get a little notification. Uh, yeah, you, I think you have to hit the bell and then you get a notification whenever I go live and I do a market uh, recap in four minutes or less. And for me, it is at four o'clock my time, so central time. So four minutes at four o'clock. And uh, this way, you know what's happening in the markets, what traders are focusing on, because yes, there are quite a few things today. The FOMC meeting minutes were also released. Did anybody pay attention to? I'll tell you in an hour from now. Anyhow, good, good, good. Uh, yeah, Jerry Ewing Capital Building is locked down. Thus far, the reaction of the markets to this is rather muted. And again, I'll give you a full update in an hour from now in a separate video. So make sure that you subscribe and we'll be good to go. Okay, uh, good, good, good. So 
Hey, Yvonne is here. Wellness NYC invited me to watch the video first time. Welcome. Hope that you're enjoying the show. So might be a little bit like drinking from the fire hose, but uh, this is why I post links in the description to other videos that I think might be helpful for you as a follow-up to this show here. Okay. So, um, Kyra Dave, can you please talk about margin and how we can protect ourselves from, uh, from the risks of being margin? Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll probably do a separate video on this, uh, but, but I want to show you something really quick. Let me jump back to my notepad here so that I can explain a little bit more about margin. You see, uh, so here in this particular example, I'm having $250,000 cash and the other $250,000 is on margin. Now, when I am trading, when I am trading, I am mainly using the cash. This here is just the buffer and this is margin that is widely available to me. Uh, now, as I said, with the portfolio margin, you're getting six to one, which is 1.5 million. And I'm not even using this. See, if you're conservative and you trade mainly with the cash that you have, and uh, I will show you a very specific example here right now. Uh, let me just uh, show you something. Let me bring up uh, my account. I just need to log in, slide it over to the other screen. And uh, there we go. Now I can share my screen again. So this year, here you see three positions on a rather small account. This is a $50,000 account. Uh, so in this $50,000 account, uh, it's a margin account. So I put $25,000 in cash in this. So right now I'm in three positions and I'm using, as you can see, $2,600 in, uh, in cash, capital requirements, 5,285 and 5,000. So Cairo Drave, if we look this up, again, this is where I put $25,000 in cash in there. And right now we have 2,663 plus uh, 5,285 plus 5,010. So right now, out of the $25,000 that I have in cash in the account, I'm just using $13,000. Now, again, I still have a lot of margin left here, but I'm only trading on part of my cash that I have. So I'll do a separate video on this, but uh, I think it's a great question. And I'll show you exactly how to do this to protect yourself here. Good, good, good. Uh, Frank is asking, what is the best platform for paper trading, please? Frank, it really depends whether you want to paper trade stocks or options. I did a video on this and I'll link to it in the description. So if you are interested in trading stocks, I highly recommend TradingView. I'll link to that video in there. And if you're interested in trading options, you would have to go for uh, Think or Swim's paper money. And I have two videos for this. I'll put them in the description here. Okay. Good, good, good. Is this Monday session? No, this today is uh, is Wednesday. Wednesday, January 6th. <laughs> okay, <laughs> absolutely. No, it's not the same lesson. I started it because uh, I wanted to tie it into Monday session here. Good, perfect. There we go. Let's see, there's a few other questions. Uh, and again, Alex asking, how do you avoid overextending for the wheel strategy? See, this is where it's so important. Right now, that's the uh, same question that Kyra Drave had earlier here. This here is a $25,000 cash account that I converted into a margin account, so I have $50,000 in margin, but I'm only using $13,000. So it's super important that you have no more than, in my case here, five positions at any given time. See, this is what I'm doing. And uh, there's also a video that I did for you. It's a uh, Trading naked puts versus cash covered puts. Really take a look at this. It's super important that you understand it. But this way, uh, Alex, I'm avoiding overextending for the wheel strategy. Because if you think about it, right, if I'm just using $500,000 in buying power, I still have a million dollar left after I use this. So plenty of money left. Good, good, good. Okay. Good. Um, so Ricardo is asking, uh, should we trust the broker to put so much money in? Well, um, I'm not putting that much money in. I'm only putting $250,000 in there. The broker is loaning me a lot of other money. This is the margin, right? So uh, I, I'm only putting $250,000 in there. And yes, that is fairly safe. If you're going with the regulated broker, the broker that I personally use is Tastyworks. If you want to have more information on this, I'll put a link in the description. And I also did a video where I compare five big brokers. So you might want to take a look at this. But uh, Ricardo, I know that you have a reputable broker. You're good there. Okay, good, good, good. Um, 
So Zina's asking, what happens if you go below $250,000? Well, the key is you cannot go below $150,000 because the portfolio margin is available if you are above $150,000. So if you go below $150,000, you are going back to a, uh, to a, six, uh, to a two, point, two to one leverage, right? So you no longer have the six to one leverage. If you are dropping below $150,000, you are only two to one leverage. So this is what happens here. So be careful. Uh, know that the $150,000 is the threshold here. Okay, a good question. Uh, Marina is asking, is this not $600,000 in buying power? Nope, because I'm putting $250,000 in there, 250 times six. I think I did it right, it's $1.5 million. Good, and so good to see you here from N. Barbia's A Wealth School. Good to see you, okay, good. So interesting, particular to how to scale down to a smaller account, everything here, I mean, just take a, take a zero away, right? So if you want to uh, make $1,500 per month, you would use a $25,000 account. So it really depends on your goals. And uh, yes, I will keep trading the smaller accounts here and show you how to grow smaller accounts. And by smaller accounts, I mean the $20,000 account, I have a $20,000 account here, I have a $50,000 account here. So we'll definitely do that and uh, and talk about how to grow these. Uh, but I also wanted to share how to trade for income because many of you have asked me, okay, what do you do if you have a larger account? What if you have $100,000, $200,000, $500,000? This morning I had a call with one of our mastermind members, uh, Mark, and uh, he actually has, I, I believe it was a $500,000 account. And he said, okay, $500,000 with portfolio margin, it turns into $3 million. Should I trade the $3 million? And we talked about, uh, what I recommend here as specific trading strategies. Anyhow, so good, good, good. Okay. So uh, Caroline, I know that uh, it's you. Uh, where can I find your trading plan? Uh, this is something, this particular plan here, um, let me just come back to you here. You would have to go to rockwelltrading.com slash my plan. Uh, so when you go, go there, uh, we'll send you an email with the link to this plan. Okay, so, but great question here. Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, yes, the question is, can you do a, a future video about trading the wheel on margin? Yes, absolutely. That's what I'm doing. And uh, I just briefly touched on it today. I will do a full video. Um, Jared, let's write this down so that we can put this on the calendar uh, to do how to use margin responsibly. Okay, um, Ricardo, for the mastermind, is the plan all there available? Absolutely, Ricardo. You know, as a mastermind, you get everything. You get everything, of course. And uh, we'll be trading live together next week. Cool. All right, uh, fantastic. So, uh, Sherry says, is the PowerX optimizer only for growth, not income generating practices? I just ordered the books, new to options, looking to generate an income. Okay, so, Again, please take a look at the video that I did, trading for income and trading for growth. So there are two strategies that I personally trade and these are the wheel strategy and the wheel strategy is best suited for income. And then you have the PowerX strategy that you can use for growth. So right now you have the book, the PowerX strategy. This is a strategy that you can mainly use for growth. You can still use it for income, absolutely. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. So definitely use this for income. The PowerX Optimizer is a tool, right? So this is where we're talking about a tool. This is no longer a strategy. Now we are talking about a tool. I actually want to make this, what color do we use? Purple, why not? Okay, so this is a tool that incorporates both of these strategies. So it's a tool that I have developed, well, it's my brainchild, so I'm working on it collaboratively with my head coach, Mark Hodge, uh, how one of our mastermind members is involved, Brian, one of our mastermind members is involved, and then of course I have a development team. Uh, but so PowerX Optimizer gives you both strategies. It is a tool for both strategies. And if you'd like to have more information on this, go to mytradingroutine.com. I'll link to it in the description. This is where I have an hour long video where I explain everything in detail, mytradingroutine.com. Anyhow, 
Good, good, good. Uh, Arvin, uh, which uh, trading brokerage offers a portfolio margin of six to one? I think pretty much everybody. Maybe a broker goes down to five to one, but every broker should offer five to one. I believe the standard is six to one. Again, the broker that I personally use is Tastyworks. I'll link to it in the description. Uh, go to rockwelltrading.com slash Tastyworks. This is where you'll find more information here. And yes, I am looking forward to the wheelbook too. It will be probably the same thickness. So this here is, uh, let's see, it's 155 pages. And right now, right now, if I'm looking at this, I'm already at uh, 129 pages. So I'm already 129 pages in. And again, I'm editing it, adding more examples. So it will be probably the same size. So pretty easy to read. For those of you who already have the book, uh, you probably know that you can read it in a couple of hours. If you don't have the book yet and you want it, I'll link to it in the description. You can get it from my website for $4.95, right? Or you can get it on Amazon. I think on Amazon it's $24.95. Anyhow, so go to my website. It's cheaper there because I can ship it to you directly. And I cut out the middleman uh, so four dollars 95 cents link in the description okay um so what's the pre-buy price for the wheel strategy book i'll let you know as we get closer you know what this is actually uh excellent i should make sure that i put this on here uh for the wheel strategy okay send to printer uh make available for pre-order there we go. And now it's on the list. So it doesn't get lost. And now you can already access it. <laughs> okay. Good, good, good. Uh, so David says, what type of results are typical with the Power X strategy? Uh, the way how I select stocks is that I want to see at least 60% return on your investment. However, with the Power X strategy, you can use money management, which is adding the turbo boost. Uh, for to your account. So I did a video on this, uh, David, I, I'll link to it in the description and also in the chat here, probably Nicole will post it. It's uh, it's called money management. Take a look at this. This is why the Power X strategy is perfect for trading for growth because you can grow your account very aggressively. So it is possible, as you will see, uh, to turn a $10,000 account into a $40,000 account within a year. Uh, so anyhow, take a look at the video. Uh, I'll explain it in that video in more detail here. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, so focus, discipline, goals, our results. You, you know how you can get tremendous discipline? Here's how you can get tremendous discipline. Do it publicly, like I do. I mean, you are now holding me re accountable. So the next show will not be this Friday because, as I said, I'm, I'm traveling to Sacramento, uh, but I'm doing this show, as you know, three times a week. And uh, three times a week, I decided in 2021, this year, to show you what progress I made on my goals. And uh, it would be very embarrassing for me to report to you, uh, I was slacking, I didn't make any progress. So it doesn't matter whether you do it with your spouse that you declared publicly or friends or an accountability partner or that's with what we do in our mastermind where I'm holding you accountable, right? So <laughs> if you want to kick in the butt from a German in cowboy boots, mastermind program might be for you. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Anne says, I'm a life and business coach for Brian Tracy and Jack Canfield organization. No, both organizations I have many books uh, from them. Good organizations. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, so Tim says, Power X paper trading, learning a lot, also losing a lot, but sticking to the strategy. You see, trading is a marathon, not a sprint. And uh, this is why absolutely you need practice the strategy so that you experience what happens when you have a losing streak here. Okay, good. Fausto says, recently, recently purchased PowerX Optimizer. Very exciting times. I believe so. Absolutely. I believe so. Super excited. Welcome to the family here. Okay, Teresa just got the 2021 goals document. Absolutely. Uh, Tulio, what percent of your capital do you recommend to keep as cash? Um, I think right now I have around $300,000 in cash. So 
you see this for me personally it's a good emergency fund I shared with you earlier that uh, I estimate my living expenses to be fifteen thousand dollars a month I think they're actually less so and I like to have a, a year of living expenses in my checking account so um, I believe I have still a hundred thousand dollars in a savings account and of course that's stupid because you're not making money on this there's uh, just shy uh, of $200,000 in my checking account. And I, I like to have that as an emergency fund, right? In case, in case something happens to me and I would not be able to trade, right? Because think about it, trading is active income. The other day, somebody asked me, uh, Marcus, why do you invest in real estate? Why wouldn't you trade all the time? Trading is active income. If I'm not trading, I'm not making any money. And investing in real estate is for me pretty, pretty passive income. I'm very involved right now because I'm selling a, a property and I will buy a property. So this is the time where I'm very involved. But then uh, while my team is running the property, I'm usually only involved uh, one day a month for two to four hours, something like this. Anyhow, uh, does this help Tulio? Because you asked uh, what percent of capital do you recommend to keep as cash? Really make make sure that you can live uh, your uh, that you can cover your living expenses for six months to a year. I think that's pretty sound advice. Take it for what it's worth. I'm not a financial advisor. You know best what to do. Okay, Teresa also got my good 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 mug. Loving it. Fantastic. Okay. So Peter is asking, will you post your stocks for the wheel strategy? Absolutely. And I'm assuming uh, you're using weekly options, not monthly. Yes. Again, Peter, uh, take a look at the, the video that I did on the wheel strategy. It's uh, actually in a playlist. And this is where you see exactly how I'm picking the stocks, right? The stocks that I like to do. And I will show you exactly right now. Um, this is uh, still on the small account here. I am uh, the stocks that I am in uh, for the wheel right now is FL, LEN, and PHM. And as you can see, uh, they're doing really, really well. All of them are expiring in two days on Friday. And it seems that I'm making full profits here. So, and uh, see, it's working out very well. And this is on a small account. So, as I'm funding, uh, I mean, it is funded, as the funds are available in the big account, I will absolutely share with you what stocks I'm trading here as well. All right, uh, I'm cutting in and out, really. Team, are we good in terms of sound? I think we should be good. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so um, Oscar says, the money in your trading accounts is not realistic for me. What do you suggest for small accounts? Two to $5,000. This, the PowerX strategy. That's how you can grow your account. So uh, absolutely. And uh, you see, Oscar, with the smaller amount, like $5,000, definitely trade options. And if you don't know anything about options yet, I have a video for you, a playlist for you, actually, that says Options 101. I'll link to it in the description. Take a look at this playlist, Options 101. And this would be perfect for smaller account, two to $5,000, Oscar. Is this helping? Good. Okay. Jody says, helpful to see your plans. Interesting to see different account sizes. Yeah, this is why I want to do it here on YouTube so that you see all these different account sizes, that you see how to trade a $20,000 account, how to trade a $50,000 account, how to trade a $250,000 account, how to trade a $500,000 account, right? Because everybody is at a different level. And so on this channel, I want to show you how to trade different account sizes as different levels. Anyhow, um, Tristan, why are you using a margin account if you're only using the cash that you have instead? In case I need it, right? So you see, I do not need the margin if I'm not getting assigned. And uh, thus far, since I've been trading the wheel, which has been for the past six months, I've been assigned maybe three or four times. So very, very far and few in between. So it's just there if I'm getting assigned and if, for example, the markets would crash. Because the wheel strategy is perfect for market conditions where we are just going sideways or slightly up. So these are the perfect market conditions. However, when the market crashes, I could be in trouble. And this is when I need the margin to get myself out of trouble, as I did with the TQQQ trade, as we did in the mastermind with the VLO trade and so on and so on. Okay, cool. 
so Peter, yeah, uh, the 36 percent, it's actually pretty low for me. So it's very conservative. Uh, right now, uh, I'm on track uh, for, for the past year. Uh, I think I'm right now at 96 percent that I made last year. So 36 percent for me is a very low goal, right? But I, I want to make sure that this is also realistic. So uh, typically, I'm uh, what I'm achieving is is closer to 60 to 80 percent, right? Depending on the year, that would be a little bit more normal for me. And uh, here, yes, I am actually um, looking for a rather conservative way to trade since I'm trading here for income. Okay, very cool. Marcy, excited to read the Will Strategy book. It's coming. It's coming. Okay, good. So SK is asking, I ordered the book PowerX. What is about the PowerX uh, companion guide? Here's the deal. Um, in the book, there are a lot of charts like this, you see, and the charts are fairly small in the book. And as you can see, they are black and white because it costs a fortune and I would have to charge you a fortune, fortune if I printed this in color. The companion guide, what I did is I basically copied every single chart that is in the book into the companion guide and it is letter size so it's really nice and big and in color so sk this is why if you want to have the companion guide this is why the companion guide is 10 bucks because it is fully printed in color uh, i'm wondering if i have one here no i'll i'll have it for the next show that i can show it to you and it's just helping you so that you can see the charts in color and bigger you don't need it but I think it's helpful. So this is the companion guide and it's an additional 10 bucks if you want to have this. Okay, good, good, good. Um, so are the PowerX Trina results invalid after the next day? Yes, the PowerX strategy and the wheel strategy are based on daily charts. And every day we are running the scanner. And the next day uh, is pretty much irrelevant. This is when we have new stocks coming up. So yeah, as traders, we are very, very agile here. We're like little speedboats zipping around here uh, while investors are like the Titanic. And if everything goes well, it's good. And if the Titanic hits the iceberg, it's not good. As traders, we are more flexible. So yes, I watch the markets every single day. All right, Double Restoration said, received your PowerX book during the holidays. Uh, you're welcome, you're welcome. Good, 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 okay. So, uh, Jim is asking, on the $500,000 account, will you be sending out your trades daily? Uh, no, I will show you exactly how I'll trade it. We'll, we'll actually trade it together in the virtual boardroom next week. So when I'm trading with my mastermind members next week, we are trading live together. I'll show you exactly how to do this and how you can replicate it here as well. Anyhow, wow, time is flying when you're having fun. Uh, I am preparing another video right now where I'll go live at four o'clock central time, which is in 40 minutes from now to show you what happened in the markets today, what are traders focusing on and what we can we expect until the rest of the week. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please share it with as many people as possible. Uh, we want to make sure that these videos go in the hands of the right people. Uh, if this was your first time here and you enjoyed it, uh, click on subscribe. Always hit like if you enjoyed this video here. Also hit the little notification bell because this way you get notified whenever I go live or I release a new video. Have a great rest of the day. Maybe I'll see you in the next video in 40 minutes from now. Otherwise, I'll talk to you very soon. Take care. Stay safe.